Hi, it's Jason Walsh from Trotec Marketing Canada. And today we're gonna make a rubber stamp on the Trotec laser. Okay, I'll just go over a few stamps. Um, Trotec carries a whole bunch of uh, sizes, including the 4921 small one, all the way up to our largest 5212 professional. And some even fancier ones here, um, our round stamps and our mobile printing. Today we're gonna make a 4915 using a single red ink pad. So this is a Trodat 4915 self-inking stamp, which means that the laser rubber is actually attached right in the bottom here, and there's a red ink pad integrated into the stamp. And the spring action actually brings it up and down. Okay, to make one of these stamps, you would use laser rubber. These are the five choices we have available. One's called Aero, and it's actually a, a speed rubber. It actually engraves 21% faster than regular rubber. This is a odorless rubber, so it reduces the amount of smell that comes off the laser. The next one is our Tempo, and it's 21% faster than our standard rubber. Next is Classical. This is the standard. Most people use this uh, laser rubber to make stamps. This is an environmentally friendly stamp material called Eco. And finally, this is Oleo, and it is an oil resistant and good for use in oil-based inks. Okay, let's have a look at the machine and we'll show you how it's done. And here we have our finished laser engraved text plate. And we're gonna bring it over and put it into the stamp. Okay, now that we've engraved the rubber plate, we're gonna put it into a, a thing of water and a brush. We're just gonna simply brush off all the dust from the laser operations. And we're gonna just dry this off so it's ready to go into the rubber stamp. Okay, just simply open her up. And one thing you wanna remember is to, when you're mounting the text plate, is to always have the word Trodat facing you. And another great feature is Trotout Printies have a locking mechanism right on the back. That keeps the stamp in position to mount the rubber text plate. You simply take off the yellow strip and you're ready to mount the text plate. Again, make sure the Trotout is facing you. Give it a couple of pats and you're done. Just simply unlock the pad and now the ink will actually be on the stamp. Now that our stamp's produced, let's try it out. Okay, a finishing touch is to add the index plate to the top panel. So inside the box you'll find an index card which allows you to place your stamp impression. Now simply take it out of the perforations, put it on top, and then attach the clear window. Your stamp is done. And if you're sending this out to your customer, Trota Printies also have a great feature right on the top, a perforated window. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe to our channels. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below.